Hey, hey, Tony, guys are here popping in. Now I'm sitting back relaxing right now. So I say, man, you know what? This is the way I like to shoot this video. Kick back in this chair. Y'all got to forgive my light. Now I ain't got to see my light behind me still in front of me. I ain't got it on. So I'm just using the room light. But my office light. But want to talk to you about this because get this question a lot where women are trying to figure out, hey, Tony, why do men move on so fast? And there are nuances to this, just like with anything. So that needs to be understood. But one of the things that you can be sure of is men suffer from soul ties the same way that women do. And men may actually suffer more because men don't take the time to heal. A lot of times you will see a woman be single for six months, a year, two years or more. Whereas with men, sometimes you see men go from a relationship right into the next in a day or two. Now, there are women like that as well. But women tend to be better off alone than men. When a man is alone, things could get a little ugly sometimes. Now, I happen to know some single men. I don't know how they stay single. I don't know how they stay sane. I don't know what they have going on behind closed doors. And I never put anything past anybody. But what you have to realize is that it's a few things that go into play here. Now, Number one, typically when a man moves on very quickly, the woman is somebody he was already cheating with. So he was already building with this woman, getting to know this woman. She may or may not have known he was in a relationship. Sometimes when the woman does know, the man is moving on to her because he has been promising her that he will leave. On the flip side, when a man did not let the woman know that he was in a relationship, he's moving on to make it look real to her. What you need to understand is that when a man goes from one relationship to the next, it is very painful. We will cry in the middle of the night. We will have stomach aches. We will have headaches. We will have panic attacks. We will go through every emotion, every feeling, because it is like coming off of a drug. It's like breaking an addiction. What you have to realize is that the interactions between a man and a woman bring about a chemical reaction in the brain. And that brain releases this chemical into the bloodstream. And that chemical alteration makes you feel a certain way. In essence, it's giving you some sort of buzz or high, whether it is good or bad. So even if it is a feeling of toxicity, the body still gets accustomed to it. If it's a feeling of joy, the body still gets accustomed to it. What women need to understand is that a man can feel joy or happiness or pleasure with a woman, but still not want to be with that woman. So a man could love the conversation and the quality time with a woman, but not be attracted to her physically. Or a man could be attracted to a woman physically and love the physical aspect of, a, of the relationship but not be attracted to her mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So when a man leaves a relationship, it's oftentimes for one or two reasons. One, he feels the woman is an upgrade. And two, he has been forced to leave. So it's up to the woman to understand which one it is. So if you're a woman watching this and you made the man leave, like you, you pushed him away. Like you told him, get out my life. I'm done with you. You lame, you trash, you play too many games. Then you are forcing him to leave. And he's moving on for that very reason. 
had you not stood your ground and broke up with him, he would have stayed and continued to do the things that made you ultimately break up with him. So realize that. Now, when a man leaves a woman, it is typically because if another woman is involved, it's because the other woman is seen as an upgrade. He does not know for sure, but sometimes a man will leave a woman. And if he's made to leave, he will just let go and not chase a woman to give him ample amount of time to see if this new woman is worth his time to see if she is what she is because sometimes you can think you have a diamond and then get a diamond tester and realize that it is cubic zirconia you could think you have a nice car start driving it and realize that you just bought a lemon so what a man will do oftentimes is he will break free from this relationship to give himself the time to focus 100% on this new boo and see if she is worth her weight in gold. He wants to see if she's the real deal. If she is the real deal, then it does not mean you won't hear from him again, but it does mean that he's not going to leave her for you. It does not mean that he won't cheat on her with you. So a lot of women trick themselves and they say, well, hey, if he's still talking to me, so he she must not be all that. That's not the case. Oh, he's trying to sleep with me, so she must not be all that. He must not really like her. That's not how men work. A man could like a woman, love a woman, and still cheat on her. Now, it is true that he's not in love with her, but most men never fall in love. Most men never allow themselves to fall in love because to fall in love means. You have to be completely vulnerable and there's not a large, there isn't a large percentage of men that are willing to be completely vulnerable and to fall in love. And the reason being is because humans do not trust humans the same way women don't really trust men. Men do not trust women at all. And for those of us men who do trust women, we have learned why we shouldn't. We've learned why we should put our trust in God. Because a human is not to be trusted. A human cannot be trusted. You can give trust, but that trust may very well be broken 99% of the time because humans are flawed. So therefore, with that being the truth, men understanding that there isn't a safe place for us to cry. There isn't a safe place for us to express feelings because we've been raised to suck it up, be tough, be a big boy. Big boys don't cry. Stop being a punk. Stop being a chump. Stop being a wuss. So therefore, we don't want to put ourselves in a place where we have to feel pain or experience any form of extreme pain like a heartbreak because we don't know how we will cope. We don't know how we will handle it. So most men remain surface level in their relationships. And yes, although we will say, I love you, or I'm in love, or I'll never leave you. And although we get married, a lot of times we are not at the deepest levels of love. But women don't really know that because you don't have anything to compare it to. So if you've never been with a man that loved you at the deepest level of love, and he was completely vulnerable, then you don't know what it looks like when a man is going through the motions and he's saying, I love you. And he's saying he's in love with you, but he isn't really, there's no comparison. So what you have to realize is that when this man moves on super quickly, it, it does not mean that this new woman is the best, best thing since sliced bread. It does not mean that the man does not love you, does not have feelings for you, does not miss you, does not care for you. It more so speaks to the fact that this man has not evolved and matured to the point where he knows how to be single. Knowing how to be single is a skill. It's something that you develop and something that most humans do not develop because it takes a level of self-love and a level of emotional intelligence or emotional temperance that 
is not easy to develop. So therefore, a lot of us go from relationship to relationship or from warm body to warm body because sometimes it's not a relationship. And that is what most men do. So because of the way men process trauma and the fact that that means the trauma isn't often processed, a woman is utilized as a crutch. A woman is utilized as a drug. She is the friend. She is the lover. She is the chef. She is the maid. She is the assistant. She is the investor. She is the sponsor. She is the therapist. She is the life coach. This woman is being milked of all of her essence and all of her gifts and all of her talents and everything that she's worth and it's really just the man self well not self-soothing but it's the man finding a coping mechanism this woman becomes the band-aid this woman becomes the stitches the woman becomes the crutch and that is because most men are afraid to confront themselves in the mirror and to deal with their own stuff. So therefore, they numb themselves with marijuana, alcohol, women, porn, gambling, something that gives us stimulation, that stimulates the brain, releases dopamine into the bloodstream, and kind of makes you forget about what you're feeling, what you're not feeling, what you're going through, and what you've gone through. So this has to be understood. It has nothing to do with you if you're the woman who got left or made him leave. And it has really nothing to do with the new woman. The only time that it has something to do with the new woman is if you look at the woman and you kind of could feel some attraction towards her as a woman. Not to say that you're a lesbian, but you can say like, wow, she is gorgeous or wow, she dressed amazing or wow, she has so much going for herself. That's when who she is and what she is plays into it. So it's like for a man to leave his wife, if, if the woman already has a lot, then the woman he's going to is one or two things. The, this new woman is either a crutch, meaning... He can't get away with the things with you that she will let him get away with. So let's say he wants threesomes. Let's say he wants to cheat in peace. Let's say he wants to put hands on you. He wants to curse you out. He wants to spend your money that you work hard for and not really manage it the right way. If he can't get away with those things with you, then but he can get away with those things with her, because he's not a lover, he's not interested in real love, he's not interested in a real relationship, he is looking for somebody he can use, he will leave you regardless of how deep it has been with you, how much he has told you he loves you, how much he has told you he's in love with you. If he is a user, he will leave you and he will go to the next woman. And that has to be understood when he's a user. Now, when the woman brings more to the table, she's different. She's more submissive. She's more kind. She's more thoughtful. She's more loving. She's all of those things that will make a man let a woman go and upgrade. So if you know that you're a woman that you're not too affectionate, you're kind of standoffish or cold, or you got a smart mouth, you like to debate, go back and forth, you know that you are the source of many headaches that your ex had, then it was is most likely he feels this other woman is an upgrade in a positive way, not just an upgrade in a usury sense. So understand that. To answer your question, does he miss you? Yes. Is he hurting? Yes. Does he regret it? Only if she's not an upgrade. Is he coming back? Most likely. Nine out of ten times. Should you take him back? That's, you may need a coaching session personal choice but by all means understand his stomach is hurting his head is hurting he's missing sleep he's missing meals just like you may be and if you aren't then he's going through those things even if you aren't because men love rarely and then when, when men love 
men love deeply but not in the true sense of the meaning but it's more than what he thought he would feel or wanted to feel so breaking free from that it's a lot harder for men than it is for women and that's why you see a lot of men end up taking the life of their ex taking the life of you know on and off stalking a lot of this stuff comes from men because it's hard for men to heal to get over and to move forward whereas with women your healing mechanism, the part of you that helps you soothe is much stronger. And I believe it's because you give birth and because you could lose your child's father in war, to prison, to the streets. I believe God has given a woman something extra when it comes to healing ability because he knows how volatile relationship with a man can be so understand that this goes a lot lot deeper it's only been 16 minute session it definitely goes a lot deeper so listen to it three four times process it but if you are wondering is he hurting does he miss you the answer is yes the answer is yes even if you got on his nerves and he hates you and this new woman is an absolute upgrade, he still misses you. Will he get over it? Eventually, he'll get over it. But it'll be the new woman, basically, that helps him get over it. And if she turns out to be just a jack of another shade, a Jill of another shade, meaning she's just like you, she just has different problems, or she chooses her sin differently, but she's just as much of a headache that if you ran him off, then he's going to come back. If he ran you off by being trash and being a dog, if the next woman doesn't put up with it, he's going to come back. If she turns out to be too easy and he loses respect for her, he may come back and confess his love. And that's a whole nother video that I do. So make sure you set the notification bell and we'll talk through again i done talked about it before on what to do if a man comes back how to know if it's real or fake and all of that so hey this tony gaskin now listen this month we got coming up the growth club that's what i'm moving to for coaching my coaching sessions are closed only people that will be able to do coaching sessions are members of the growth club i'm gonna try to put the description uh the link in the description on may 5th all of the replays from the live classes the saturday schools on may 5th those are five dollars so make sure you go check them out if you missed any of them grab it only five dollars you get lifetime access also because may 5th is a special day and we having that the sixth i'm decided to leave the 16 dollar business courses up so they'll be 16 dollars Hopefully at least till Monday, May 8th. So, hey, checking into those things. God bless you. We'll talk soon.